like a hell cut. Right, as you saw there, um, we're changing the battery on this vehicle today because of the starting problem it's had. Um, this is the wife's Pony Express as we call it, just a old Land Rover that goes to and from the pony yard. Um, and it's been letting her down recently, not starting in the mornings. Um, having to use a jump pack, brilliant little jump pack well recommended. Um, at the minute I've got it connected to the OBD2 reader port, um, that's so I don't you lose the radio code. I don't know if I've got the radio code or not in service history, um, but we've just connected it just to, so we don't lose it basically. Simple as that really. Um, so yeah, we'll crack on, we'll get the bonnet open, and we'll get to replacing the battery. A few minutes later. Right, this is the battery that I've um, chosen to, to purchase. It's a, a Lion. It's got three years guarantee. Come for you a car pass. Cost me 80 quid with the code and that's the one that's um, replacing a little side one from the RAC not too sure how long it's been on there nothing in the service to say that it's been replaced at any point so we'll just replace it with this one keep the receipt and that'll give me the three years guarantee I think there's a nut and bolted on the side there, so I'm going to have to um, see if I can get a span around the back there and tighten that up. I'm going to have to put the camera down for that. <laughs> I've got a plan so cunning you could put a tail on it and call it a weasel. <laughs> right, that's all tightened up. I managed to just wedge a screwdriver underneath that bit, lever it up, and then wind it down with the with a little impact gun. Just got the towels to put on. This one. Two. Don't need to be too tight. Just so they don't move. Okay. And that is it. Alright, we'll see if it works. Right, moment of truth to see if it works. Just gonna disconnect the OBD port. And the ignition is good. It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! In the name of God! Lovely. 
start first time. Uh, well, I guess we'll go and put some fuel in it now. <laughs> Near station, petrol station or fuel station is about eight miles from here. So let's hope we make it. <laughs> 